Hello. Hello and good evening everyone. Welcome to my subscribers lesson. It's Wednesday night here. I know local time is 8.52 p.m. Which is the um, GMT and the UK time. As you might be aware, during the winter our time is same as GMT. Okay, dear viewers. So, um, welcome once again and you must be aware that this is a subscriber lesson only my subscribers are able to join here and make a comment but sometimes other people are able to make comments if only you donate any money and make a comment in that case otherwise there is no way you can make comment and come here and just interact with me this is the hello rules and policy and welcome on second year viewers our today's lesson is grammar and phonetics practice so what you learn from this lesson uh, we read we uh, pronounce the words we learn the grammar pattern we practice it if you find a new word or vocab we try to know the meaning and we make sentences and we practice it again then my learners are able to practice their speaking as well as develop their sound especially pronunciation uh, either the british ipa or the american whatever they like to develop and definitely the interaction between the students and me will help them build up their confidence level boost their you know positive vibe their motivation all right so uh bear me a moment because i'll be back So, welcome. So, welcome, dear viewers. It's Wednesday night subscriber lesson about grammar and phonetics practice. I've started this lesson a bit earlier. Uh, I should sh start sharp now, but I always try to start a bit early so that our learners and viewers can uh, come and join. And they can watch it silently because they don't have any other option any other choice when you try to make a comment it will go to the subscription page and how much is the subscription is only 10 us dollars for a month so in a month there are eight lessons each lesson has one hourly session and every week there are two one hourly sessions all right there we are so um let's see how it goes until my viewers are here let's listen to the bbc podcast which is my favorite and when my subscriber would be here 
or oh, when it's nine o'clock possibly we'll start discussing our main topic Today's, today's BBC podcast is the planet warming up faster. Hi, Neil from BBC Learning English here. Did you know that we are now offering a new weekly extra episode of Six Minute English exclusively on our website? So go to bbclearningenglish.com to find your favourite presenters on your favourite programme. The extra episodes are only available on our website, bbclearningenglish.com. See you there. Six Minute English from bbclearningenglish.com. Hello, this is Six Minute English from BBC Learning English. I'm Neil. And I'm Sam. No one is too small to make a difference. Do you know who said that, Sam? Wasn't it climate change expert? That's right. She went on to say this in her message to world leaders. I don't want you to be hopeful. I want you to act as if your house is fire because it is. Her speech reflected the feelings of many around the world who think that not enough action is taken on climate change. And they might be right. Judging by the record-breaking temperatures that hit Canada and the northwest of the United States in July this year, Greta Thunberg's plea to act like your house is on fire became a reality for residents of the small town of Lisson, Canada, which burned to the ground in a shocking wildfire, a fire that is burning strongly and out of control. So, was the Lisson wildfire uh, yet another climate change wake-up call? Wake-up call is the expression used to describe a shocking event that should make people realise that action is needed to change something. Maybe not, according to some climatologists who worryingly say that what happened and listen should not even have been possible. So in this program, we'll be asking if scientists have dangerously misunderstood the realities of climate change. But first, it's time for my quiz question, and it's about that extreme weather in Canada. It broke records when the temperature in Lytton hit an all-time high on the 1st of July. But just how hot did it get? Was it A, 39.6 degrees, B, 49.6 degrees, or C, 59.6 degrees Celsius? You look really high, especially for snowy Canada. I'll say A, 39.6 degrees C. Okay, Sam, we'll find out the answer later on. Seeing your hometown burn to the ground is bad enough, but perhaps even worse was the fact that the wildfires were so unexpected. According to weather pattern modelling done by a team of Oxford University researchers, such extreme heat was impossible, in theory at least. The research team was led by climatologist Gert Jan van Oldenburg. Here he is in conversation with BBC World Service Programme Science in Action. This is a wake-up call beyond the wake-up calls that we've had before. Yes. It's a very big shock uh, in the sense that we thought we know heat waves react to global warming and within which boundary they are increasing. Of course, they're increasing in temperature, but it's a gradual process, we thought. And then you get this thing, and it's not gradual at all. It's a, it's a huge jump. Professor Van Oldenburg had been studying the impact of global warming on heat waves, short periods of time when the weather is much hotter than usual. Along with other climatologists, he thought that climate change was gradual, changing or happening slowly over a long period of time. But the Canadian heat waves forced him to think again. Instead of being gradual, the temperatures saw a jump or a sudden increase, five degrees. And a sudden jump that's got Professor Van Oldenborg and his team 
worried. By collecting data from all over the world, climatologists try to predict changes in the pattern of global warming. But as Gert Jan van Oldenburg told BBC World Service's Science in Action, the heat wave in Nissen didn't fit these predictions at all. Uh, everything looked like a nice regular uh, gradual trend like we are used to up to last year. Hi, and then you saw records by four or five degrees. I mean, this is something that's not supposed to happen. It has really shaken our confidence in how well we understand the effect of climate change on heat waves. Despite all his research, Professor Van Oldenburg is still unable to explain such extreme and sudden changes in the climate. Welcome, Monica. Can you hear me? Hello, Hello. teacher. Hello, Good Monica. afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Good afternoon, teacher. How are you? I'm very good. Thanks for I'm asking. I'm doing great, teacher. I'm doing fantastic. My pleasure, teacher. <laughs> so, have you had your you. lunch already? Yes, I have had my lunch, teacher. Thank you for asking. Before to enter to this class, teacher, of course. <laughs> All right. So, um, may I ask you what was in your menu today? Mm. I eat uh, um, fish with rice and uh, apple juice, uh, or orange juice and apple uh, as a dessert. Dessert. Okay. So, how did you cook the fish? Did you cook by yourself or someone cooked for you? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, teacher, today um, I wa I went to the restaurant with my brother because uh, my brother is visiting me today, and he invited to me at the restaurant. And then, consequently, I didn't uh, do anything today in my kitchen. <laughs> All right. So your brother came here, and he invited you to go to lunch to a restaurant. Yeah, teacher. All right. And exactly. And do you remember what kind of fish it was? Uh, I don't know if you know that fish, but uh, it's called trucha. Okay, can I please write it? Do you know this kind of fish? I'm not sure. Is it okay to write the spelling, please? And how there, teacher? how was the fish cooked? Was it fried fish? Monica? Can you hear me? Yes, I'm here, teacher. I didn't hear before. Okay, I was asking how was the yes. fish? How was the no, fish cooked? Perfect. Uh, how was the fish cook? Uh, fried fried fish. Uh, it was. It was fried fish. Fried fish with, uh, with fried fish with uh, rice, potato, fried potato too, and salad. Uh, salad was about lettuce, lettuce, um, tomatoes, and uh, avocado. Okay, so fried fish with potato. And salad, salad had lettuce, avocado, tomato. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And lemon and okay. a little species too. Lemon, okay. Is it sliced lemon or whole lemon? A sliced lemon. Do you know what, <laughs> what is the difference between lemon and lime? Yes, uh, the lemon is a little, they, they are, no. Uh, it has other flavor, uh, yes, the different flavor. One is a more, um, I don't know what is the word. One is a hand, uh, one is uh, like to honey, the other 
is the opposite to honey. Honey? Sweet, sweet, sweet. No honey, sweet. I see. What is the color of lemon? Lemon is a green. Lemon is, is green. Lemon is green? Yes, green. And it's how not green in your country? <laughs> how about lime? How about lime? Lime, lime is uh, yellow. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> green and yellow. I think you may have explained in a and the other way around. Okay. Lemon is yellow, lime is green. Lime is green. And maybe the then the pronunciation of of uh, okay. okay, okay. Let me show you I'm lemon. Green. All right, Monica. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Can you see? Yes. What is this? Is it lemon or lime? This is lemon. <laughs> but you said <laughs> okay. lemon is green. <laughs> because uh, always in my mind, uh, the, uh, the lemon, when I see lemon, in my mind was uh, lemon. Lemon. Lemon, yes. <laughs> so is it green or yellow? This is yellow, but uh, when the when the lemon is not isn't mature, it's green, teacher. Lemon. 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 Yes, lemon, teacher. But when lemon is not uh, is in the trees, in the trees. Yeah. It's it's green. It's green because uh, they don't finish your process. If you can if you can look for lemon trees you can see the lemon green okay i'm going to show you another one okay let me <laughs> okay, what is this this is lemon <laughs> monica do you see what is written there okay okay <laughs> this is lime yeah lemon okay. is always yellow lime is the green one okay <laughs> Okay, teacher. Uh, teacher, but then we, we, uh, why we, we say lemonade? Yeah. Lemonade can be made from the lime and lemon both together, but from the juice, water, and a little bit sugar. Okay. All right, that sounds a bit but confused. Maybe uh, I need to see once again. Okay, this is okay. lime. Lime. Okay, do you know there is a cockney expression, lemon and lime, what's the time? Have you ever heard of it? Mm, I didn't understand, teacher. Could you repeat, please? Lemon and lime, what's the time? Mm -hmm. What's the time? Lemon mm. and lime. Mm hmm you know, in uh, London, there is an mm -hmm. accent called Cockney accent. Okay. And mm -hmm. these people sometimes use, you know, um, rhyme or expressions. This is one of them. Lemon and lime. What's the time? Uh, okay. What mean that? It means if somebody that. says lemon and lime in Cockney, then you need to understand the person is asking about the time. So we say oh, like really? this. Yes. Mm -hmm. Lemon and lime. Oh. What's the time? Okay. Oh, okay, okay. You'll be surprised to know they have got its different kind of expressions. Like, uh, let me write you another one. It should be an amazing expression. Like, box of toys making noise who is making all this box of toys that means who is making all the noise okay so uh, 
Monica, so in Cockney expressions, these are called Cockney rhymes or Cockney expressions. Mm -hmm. Box of toys uh, is related to noise. Box of toys mean making noise. Okay, it, it comes a lot as a rhyme. Box of toys making okay. noise. Making Lemon noise. and lime. What's the time? Another one you just said uh, earlier. You like apple, apple and pears. Go to the stairs. Okay. Did you get my point? Monica? Okay. All right. So lemon is yellow, lime is green. Don't mix. Uh, let's, let's point no because I couldn't. Uh, apple and pears go to the stairs. Uh, these are like a rhyme. You see, they have got, you know, like a rhyme. The verses have some similarity. Lemon and lime, what's the time? Apple and pears go to the stairs. Box of toys making noise. All right. Okay, so the reason for saying that, you know, because you said you liked lemon and you said green color, that's why I was a bit confused. So lemon is mm. yellow, lime is green. All right. Okay, teacher, lemon is yellow. <laughs> yes, lemon is yellow, lime is green. Very and good. And lemonade is used for both, both yeah. of them. Both of juices, <laughs> when they are mixed <laughs> with water and sugar, we make lemonade. All right, today mm -hmm. we're going to read a, a story, small story, but amazing story. And there are some questions, so you need to read carefully. Okay. Would you like to read it, please? Of course, teacher. This old lady handed her bank card to the teller and said, I would like to withdraw $10. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the seller told her, for which I was less than 100. Please use the ATM. Uh, what does ATM stand for? Uh, they want to obtain uh, mon money for seller, only $10. No, no, I'm saying that you know the word ATM. Yes, it, it I is, know, it, I know. It's a, it's a, technical, it's a technolog technological machine that you use for um, obtaining money, uh, usually it's uh, near to the banks or maybe in other other uh, places uh, like, for example, uh, when the, the places when they sell, uh, okay, no, near to the banks. Okay, it could be anywhere, honestly. It, it, it could be <laughs> exactly. near the bank, outside the bank, <laughs> any suitable exactly. place, yeah? So Monica, yes. my question is what does ATM stand for? It is, a, it is an acronym. You know, acronym means it is the shortened form of a long word. Okay, so they call it ATM. Uh, what mean, teacher? What is the full meaning of ATM? ATM is a te um, technological machine. No, um, not exactly. Uh, okay. Is automatic yeah, okay? Is a uh, automatical auto automatical teller machine? Yes, that is I remember. Automatical teller teller machine or maybe autom automated teller machine. Okay. Did you have a look from the internet or Google? At the moment, no, I can't teach it because my tablet tablet is turned off. All right. It is automated teller machine. That's right. Automated or automatic? Automated. 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 Okay. Automated tailor machine. Mm -hmm. Automated tailor machine, yes. Okay, go on reading. Oh, okay, teacher. 100, please use the ATM. 
The old lady wanted to know why. The teller returned her bank card and irritably told her, These are the rules. Please leave if there is no further matter. There is a line of customers behind you. Okay. Uh, the old lady remained silent for a few seconds and handed her car back her, no, her car back to the tailor and said, Please help me withdraw all the money I have. The tailor was astonished, molded her head, leaned down and respectfully told her, You have three thousand hundred dollars uh -huh. in uh -huh. your account. No. Say three thousand, not three thousand. Count it again. Three hundred million. Three hundred million. <laughs> three hundred, teacher. Three hundred. Yes, three hundred. Three hundred. No, two, you tell me, teacher. Maybe I am confused. Okay, first zero one. Second zero ten, third zero hundred, then mm -hmm. thousand. So it's three hundred thousands. Three hundred thousand dollars. Okay, three hundred thousand dollars. You have three hundred thousand dollars in your account, but the bank doesn't have. But the, the bank doesn't have that much cash currently. Could you make an appointment and come back again tomorrow? Mm -hmm. The old lady then ask, asked how much she could withdraw immediately. The teller told her any amount up to three three thousand. Well, please let me have three thousand now. The three thousand dollar. You need to say this dollar sign. Three thousand dollar. Mm -hmm. Okay, three thousand uh, dollar. The teller kindly handed three thousand dollar, very friendly, and with a uh, like sm like sm to her. smile. Smile, smile. Okay, a smile to her. The old lady put ten dollars in her purse. Parse. And as parse. Parse. Parts, you know the meaning parts. of parts? Okay, we're going to describe it again. Just go on reading first. Let me listen to your reading. Okay. The old lady put ten dollars in her purse and asked the tailor to deposit two two thousand two thousand ninety hundred ninety back account. Two thousand nine hundred nine hundred ninety. Two thousand two thousand nine hundred and ninety dollars dollars into her account back into the her back into her account back back into her account mm -hmm. yeah. the moral of this history is don't be difficult with all people they spend a lifetime learning the skills all right so let me read it slowly remember monica when we read uh, when it's full stop or period, we need to stop. When it's a comma, we need to give a pause. Mm -hmm. So the old lady handed her bank card to the tailor and said, I'd like to withdraw $10. The tailor told her for withdraw less than $100, please use the ATM. Um, the old lady wanted to know why the tailor returned her bank card and irritably told her these are the rules please leave if there is no further matter there's a line of customers behind you the old lady remained silent for a few seconds and handed her card back to the tailor and said please help me withdraw uh, all the money I have the tailor was astonished. Remember, this is astonished, okay? Mm -hmm. Do you know astonished. the meaning? We're going to uh, you know, check the vocab letter. Let me read it first. The tailor was astonished when she checked the account balance. 
she nodded her head, leaned down and respectfully told her, you have $300,000 in your account, but the bank doesn't have that much money, that much cash currently. Could you make an appointment and come back again tomorrow? Uh, the old lady then asked how much money she could withdraw immediately. The tailor told her any amount up to $3,000 now. The tailor, well, please let me have $3,000 now. The tailor kindly handed $3,000 very friendly with smile to her. The old lady put $10 in her purse and asked the tailor to deposit $2,990 into her account. Okay, <laughs> that's a very tiny story. The moral of the story is don't be difficult with the old people. It should be the, the old people. Uh, they spent a lifetime learning the skill. All right, so is ATM automated teller machine? And mm -hmm. the teller return irritably. What does irritably mean? Irritably, uh, uh, when the people uh, uh, feel a little upset, upset, disappointed, disappoint, disappointed, feel bad, uh, aggressive, or like that. Yeah, irritate is the verb. Irritating mm -hmm. is the you know ing or gerund or participle mm -hmm. irritable. Is the adjective irritably is that verb? So mm -hmm. irritate means, yeah, you're right, to make someone angry and upset. Mm -hmm. Angry, okay, angry and upset. Angry or upset. upset. Mm -hmm. So this is verb. Can you please make a sentence with this word irritate? Okay, irritate. Um, my, my brother was uh, irritate. Uh, this morning because uh, the taxi driver arrived too late. My brother was irritated in that case it should be. Irritated. 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 Okay, uh, we're going to find out in a moment. Irritable. Sorry. So irritate is verb. Mm -hmm. Okay, very often brothers irritate sisters. <laughs> right? Yes, you do, you are right. <laughs> <laughs> and sister doesn't like to irritate brothers because they are hard. Yes. <laughs> they love their brothers. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> so, this is a good example. Irritate means um, to make someone angry or upset. So brothers sometimes like to irritate sisters, whereas sisters do not want to irritate brothers. Okay, make a <laughs> sentence like this with verb. This is verb, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Make another sentence. Other sentence? Okay. Um, uh, my, I'm, I'm, Yesterday I did I did something that make irritate to my best friend. Okay, uh, let me restructure your sentence. Yesterday I did something which made my friend irritated, or my, my friend activity. irritated with my activity. <laughs> with my actions. With yes, my action. <laughs> Well done. Okay, now irritating, that is verb with ing. When mm -hmm. we use ing with verb, we call it gerund. Mm -hmm. If you remember, Monica, verb with ing. Verb yeah. with yeah, ing is a gerund. Gerund, or it can mm -hmm. be a participle. <laughs> like right. present participle past participle, future participle. Mm -hmm. So when we call gerund, when the bar with ing works like a noun or adjective? 
Um, in that case, we call it gerund. And you use gerund when the activity is uh, happen in, in that moment and not finish. No, Monica, what I'm saying, when a verb has, when the verb has ing, it may be a gerund or a participle, we don't know, okay? Mm -hmm. So when it is called jiran, when this verb that with ing works like an adjective or a noun. Uh, is in a rotating, in a noun? No, in, do you jiran in a verb teacher? For example, irritate, irritating. Jiran, a noun or adjective? Noun or adjective, okay? Okay. So irritate verb, you have explained like, hey, don't irritate me. You can say simply, mm -hmm. don't irritate me when I'm busy or don't angry, make me angry or upset. And mm -hmm. when the verb takes ing, it could be jiran, it could be participle. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so what is jiran? When the verb with ing works like a noun or adjective, can you see that? We call them jiran. I'll give you an example, okay. okay? Like, it is an irritating matter. Sometimes people do not understand the hello code of conduct. Now here, irritating is gerund. Can you see my sentence, Monica? Yes, yes, I can see. So can you please read it? It is an irritating matter of some things members do not understand the hollow code of conduct. Okay, so it means it is like a disturbing or uh, mm -hmm. angry matter or upsetting matter. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it is in this case, irritate, irritating is Jiran. But if you say that, uh, like Monica's brother is trying to, uh, Monica's brother is irritating Monica. In that case, we call it participle. Okay, when participle, another meaning is like a continuous form, okay? Like mm -hmm. your brother, is irritating you, Irrita irritate, irritate, yep. okay, here, this irritating is participle or continuous form. Okay, teacher. Did you get the difference? Why we call jiran and why we call it participle? Yes, teacher. Great. Now, with this word, irritate, irritate we can learn a few more words. Uh, now, can you give me an example of jiran and also a participle? Monica, this is very easy. Yes, teacher. Um, with the same word, teacher, with other word, with other... Use the irritating, but with different sentence. Irritating. Okay, different se sentence. Okay. Uh, it is it is an irritating day uh, because it's so hot. This is a gerund. Right, very good. It is an irritating day because it's so hot. <laughs> hmm. Now, as a participle. Uh, okay, par participle. Uh, Sorry, I'm drinking uh, Fanta. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Fanta, teacher, Fanta. Uh, what flavor? Fa uh, what, what flavor did you It's, um, it's a citrus. Citrus, oh, okay, related to orange. Yes. Okay, teacher. Um, okay, the other sentence. Um, he's irritating, he's irritating uh, because uh, the airplane is late. Uh, it is not exactly the same meaning. You can simply say he's irritating me. Okay, he's irritating. Okay, but you can say that sentence, he's irritated because the uh, the flight is late. 
the flight is late when it, it is working as an adjective in that case now irritation is noun okay mm -hmm. can you make a sentence i'm not going to say no let me see if you can make a sentence or not in continuous form, teacher or participant. No, irritation, noun. Okay. Irritation. An example with irritation, teacher? Yes. Example, irritation. Okay. Irritation. Uh, okay. Um, is a noun. Okay, irritation in is an action. irritation is an action with a person uh, uh, feel bad. Become feel bad. Okay, but you are trying to give a definition rather than definition. Give as <laughs> an example. Uh, let me help you. Like sometimes <laughs> some food give you irritation to your stomach, make mm. your stomach upset. Mm -hmm. Okay. It is not mm -hmm. always make angry, you see, it is also a make upset. Okay, okay. okay. Someone or something. Okay. Someone okay. or something. Someone or something it could be. Okay. Angry or upset. So irritation, yeah? Sometimes mm -hmm. some medication makes irritation. Some food mm -hmm. makes irritation. Okay, sometimes uh, some actions makes makes me irri irritation. Very good. Bravo, <laughs> high five. All right, irritable. 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 Uh, my best friend is extremely irritable. Yes, adjective and irritated also adjective. Yeah, my best friend is irritated. <laughs> irritable. <laughs> okay. And irritated. You already you? You know, gave this example a few times. Like my friend is irritated because the flight is late. Yes. Or well, my best friend is irritated when I I am I am late. <laughs> okay. My friend, best friend is irritated when I'm late. Yeah, that's a good example. Well done. Now, <laughs> irritably. Okay. Uh, she is extremely irritably, principally uh, when people talk talk bad about other people. Uh, it is an adverb. Remember, what is an adverb? Adverb always describe how the action is done. So you, um, mm -hmm. rather than the example, whatever you gave, and that is not something somewhat relevant, you can say that mm -hmm. um, the person answered irritably with great upsetting situation or anger. Mm -hmm. Okay. My father is irritable. No, irritable is fine. Irritably. Irritably should be used irritably. with another verb. Like he answered irritably. Okay, look at this sentence here. The teller. <laughs> okay, teacher. Today I am irritably. It, 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 it terribly <laughs> told her. <laughs> uh, it terribly <laughs> told her there are uh, there. These are the rules. Look, the old lady wanted to know why the teller returned her bank and irritably told her with great upset mm -hmm. or anger. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, so because it is an adverb, remember adverb always explain how a verb or adjective or another adverb completes an action. So you can say like this, that person spoke to me irritably. Uh. Uh, we can say simply, I don't like to talk to you irritably manner. Uh, irritably, rather than irritably manner, irritably. Okay. All right. 
Yes, teacher. Okay, it may be seem to be difficult, but eventually you'll be able to understand. From one word, we can make different kinds of perspectives. That's why sometimes people ask, them, "How can I learn vocab?" Look, this is one word we are learning. <laughs> yes, irritably, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> we are learning irritably. Look, look, irritate, irritating. Then irritating <laughs> that irritation, irritable, irritated, irritably. Now let's go back to the. Uh, do you remember the story? Can you please tell me in your own words? Yes, yes I remember, teacher. Tell me. Uh, it's about uh, it's about an uh, old woman. She wanted to uh, she wanted to uh, have money from the bank. Uh, but she wants only she wanted only ten dollars ten dollars and she go to the teller but teller said okay you can you can obtain ten ten dollars ten dollars a minimum is one hundred if you want to go to the ATM and the and the woman was uh, really upset and she was thinking how she can do and after that she go again and, and with uh, she go again and uh, say the teller okay uh, could you give me how money i have in my account and teller say okay he was extremely surprised because uh, the woman have uh, had a lot had a lot of money and she uh, and he put a big smile because uh, she didn't know that the woman have a lot of money and the woman say Okay, give me, uh, how is the minimum, the, the minimum uh, have I how, how much money the woman had? Uh, she had a three, uh, $300,000. Okay. $300,000 Very in good. their account. Very good. It's a pink account, yes. Okay, well, hang on a second here. Uh, because it's a past incident, she went to the tailor, not go or goes. She went, yes. She yes. went to the tailor. And she wanted to withdraw ten dollars. Remember, you should mention this mm -hmm. figure when you're ex you know, explaining something. Make it more interesting. Mentioning the, the figure like ten dollars, twenty dollars, <laughs> three hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Yes, ten dollars. Okay, go and, on. Um, and and after, and uh, the teller say, "Oh my God, that woman have a lot of money." And the woman say, "Okay." <laughs> Did the teller say that? And she, Let me find it. Where, no, where? In my mind, in my mind, teacher. Oh, all right, okay, I understand now. You're making it. That's okay. Go on. I like to listen to your story. <laughs> and he, he put immediately a big smile because she say, "Oh, maybe he's a premium premium uh, customer. I need to tell the best way." And uh, the woman uh, asked, uh, "How is the minimum money that I I I can retire?" Withdraw. And the teller said, oh, "I can withdraw, withdraw. Ta or take out. Withdraw. Uh, withdraw, withdraw, withdraw or take, take out. out. Yeah, withdraw or take out from a bank. We can withdraw okay. the money or we can take out the money from a bank." Okay, teacher. Then say, "Okay, how well, uh, how much is the minimum?" Uh, money that I can withdraw, Very and teller say, okay, you need, uh, okay, is uh, three uh, three hundred, no, three thousand dollars. She's uh, he said, and the woman say, okay, give me, give me that money, and immediately uh, the teller give that three thousand three hundred three thousand dollars, and after that the woman take that money, she only take uh, take off. Ten dollars. She put in the wallet. Off. Past tense. Remember, Monica, you're describing a past. She only took, not take. Yeah, she took took only ten dollars, and he uh, uh put she, uh she 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 she, she put uh, her money into the wallet, the wallet, on purse wallet. Parts or wallet? Is the same thing. Wallet, parts same. Okay, wallet okay. is for males, parts is for female. The small bag oh, okay. that you carry, yeah. We call it parts. Okay. <laughs> parts. Okay. She put only ten dollars into the purse, and after that, I say, okay. Um, uh, she told that the teller, okay, please, uh, the rest of the money uh, put again in my account. Deposit. <laughs> we call them deposit. deposit. 
deposit the, the rest in my account again. And at the end, the woman obtained you $10, and uh, the teller was a little surprised, upset, and with uh, different kind of emotions. And the woman <laughs> <bought>. <laughs> All right, well done, bravo, high five. You explain it in a different way. Amazing. <laughs> now, the moral of the story is don't be difficult. We are not going to the moral again. I'm going to ask you the question, number one. Okay, how much money did the old lady want to withdraw initially? Uh, they, uh, the, the woman uh, wanted uh, to withdraw only $10. Very good. The old lady, I remember old. old lady, yeah, we have used the old lady oh. wanted to withdraw $10 initially. Uh -huh. Use the full sentence when you're answering, Monica, remember I said mm -hmm. to the queue, use these words from the question and answer it. Don't say $10 mm -hmm. simply. The old, the old lady wanted to withdraw $10 initially. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, teacher. Very good. Number two, how much money did she have in her account? She have, uh, she have uh, three hundred thousand dollars in her account. She had, not she had. She had. She had past tense. The past tense of have is okay. had. She had three hundred thousand dollars in her account. Bravo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you know how to count three hundred thousand dollars, Monica? Will you be able to count? In my account, no, teacher, no. For three dollars, teacher, maybe. No, I'm asking. <laughs> will you be able to count three thousand dollar, three hundred thousand dollar, by hand? Can you count like this? Three hundred is one, two, three, four. Oh yes, no, teacher. You know, not possible. It should be counted only through the machine. Of course, <laughs> maybe you confused after that. Okay. Why did the tailor refuse to help the old lady? Uh, the tailor refused to help the, to help the old lady uh, because of the rules of the bank. Uh, he said that she can only retire one hundred dollars, not not less than than not less than one hundred dollars. She only can withdraw or take away. Remember this word. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Withdraw or take away. Withdraw, take away. take away, take away, withdraw. Take away or take off, teacher? Take, take away, take away, or withdraw. Okay, take away, or withdraw. 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 Okay. withdraw. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. One more time, withdraw, withdraw, take away. Yes, or you can say remove as well. Sometimes people say, but take away, withdraw is almost same. Or take out. Okay. Take out. Take out. Take out. Take out the money from take. back or withdraw. Withdraw, take out. Withdraw, take out. Very good. Take okay. Uh, if I want to now, Monica, I have a question for you. If I want to withdraw $80, where should I go then? Uh, if I want to go, to, where should I go then? Um, where should I go then? Uh, maybe uh, if I withdraw eighty dollars, I don't know. I go to the shopping. <laughs> now, if this I want to, with to this is a question. This is a uh, comprehensive question. Okay, this is not the part of the paragraph. Mm -hmm. But it is for your mm -hmm. understanding. If I want to withdraw eighty dollars, where should I go? If I want to withdraw eighty dollars, where should I go? Should I go to uh, the teller? Should I go to the ATM or should I go to the any place, any bank? This is the question. Ah, okay, 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 teacher. teacher thank you for explaining. Okay, um, if I want to withdraw, withdraw, no, withdraw, withdraw, uh, withdraw, say again, withdraw, 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 then withdraw together. Withdraw, withdraw is a compound word, withdraw, withdraw, withdraw. Look, look at the word, withdraw, eh? withdraw. 
can you see it withdraw if i want to mm -hmm. withdraw 80 dollars where should i go mm -hmm. if i want to withdraw 80 dollars uh definitely i go for atm okay well done okay how much money did the old lady have uh, the the old lady have three hundred three hundred and three three hundred thousand dollars the old lady had remember you're answering in past the old lady had three hundred thousand us dollars mm -hmm. the lady the old lady had three hundred thousand dollars very good then question number six how much money did the old lady withdraw uh, the, the old lady woman the old lady a woman betrothed initially uh, three three thousand dollars withdraw present tense withdrew withdrew past tense withdrawn past participle withdrawn old teacher withdraw withdraw withdrawn okay <laughs> all right it's <laughs> difficult for you though practice withdraw present tense withdrew <laughs> past tense withdrawn past present participle past participle okay. sorry withdraw mm -hmm. withdrew withdrawn mm -hmm. say uh, withdraw okay withdraw withdraw withdraws very good better than before <laughs> okay yes, how much money she did she deposit again uh, she deposit again uh, uh, to less less dollar men less ten ten dollar less than the initially. You have to tell me how much. <laughs> we don't say ten dollar less. Okay, okay. Uh, a two uh, two hundred two hundred thousand two hundred and ninety thousand. Two hundred and ninety thousand dollars. Nineteen ninety, yes. Two hundred and ninety ninety dollars. Two thousand nine hundred and ninety ninety dollars. Ninety dollars. Two thousand nine hundred ninety. Two thousand nine hundred ninety. Very good. So, how much money does the old lady have now? Ten dollar. No, the old lady had ten dollars. The old lady has ten dollars in her purse. Okay. In her purse. Okay. How much money she has in her bank? Now I'm asking. There should be two answer. How much money she has got in her purse, and how much money she has got in her bank? Okay. In her bank now, she has. She has a uh, two hundred ninety nine thousand. No, no, two. Yes, two two hundred ninety nine. This is the money she has got, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Ten dollars menos, less. Ten dollar less. <laughs> Sorry, so, I put the Spanish word. <laughs> so, so tell me how much the money now? I've written it for you. Oh, teacher, you tell me, baby. <laughs> I, I know the answer. That's why I need to ask you. So it is two hundred and ninety-nine thousand nine hundred and ninety dollars. Okay. okay, yes, two hundred is two hundred ninety-nine thousand ninety-nine thousand and ninety-nine. No. Hundred. Now, fix it. First, tell me two thousand ninety nine hundred. Oops, two thousand ninety nine hundred. Okay. Okay, ninety nine hundred. Yeah, okay, two thousand and ninety nine hundred. Then nine hundred ninety. Ah, uh, nine hundred <laughs> ninety. Oh, TJ. Okay. Two thousand and ninety nine hundred, two thousand and ninety nine hundred and nine hundred ninety. 
It's okay, teacher. <laughs> yes. So in her purse, she has ten dollars, but in her bank <laughs> there is two thousand ninety nine hundred and nine hundred and ninety dollars. Mm -hmm. Say it again, slowly. Okay. Okay, teacher. Um, the old lady have now has, two thousand has. has now okay. The old lady has now a two hundred ninety nine no two thousand ninety nine hundred no nine hundred no no Monica listen to me carefully it is first it should be hundred thousand so two hundred and ninety nine thousand two hundred and ninety nine thousand or two hundred ninety nine thousand simply two hundred ninety nine thousand okay Two hundred and ninety-nine thousand. Then nine hundred ninety. Then yes, it's it's very good now. One more time. Okay, the old lady has two hundred and ninety-nine thousand and nine hundred ninety dollars. Dollars. Very good, and she has got ten dollar in her purse. Okay. Okay, she has ten dollar in her purse. Yes. Okay. Her purse. In her purse. So that's all about, uh, we have got a few more minutes, yeah? Uh, I was going to show you, but it is already, we took a longer bit of time, okay. Uh, do you know countable and uncountable nouns, Monica? Countable and uncountable. Uh, yes, I know, not much, but I know. Okay, let me, <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, no I'm a bit tired i don't know why okay in english grammar we use countable and uncountable nouns okay mm -hmm. so countable nouns are individual people animals places things or ideas which can be counted remember the countable nouns are always can be counted this is the mm -hmm. first criteria and uncountable nouns are not individual objects so they cannot be counted mm -hmm. All right, the first thing, so countable nouns are, that can be counted, Monica. So what are the mm -hmm. countable nouns? No counted. That can be counted. And uncountable nouns are not, not possible to be counted, okay? okay? Although the concept may seem challenging, you'll soon discover that these two different noun types are very easy to use. Okay, countable noun examples. If you please read it slowly. Yes, it will. Countable no, exa no examples, anything that can be counted, whether singular, a dog, a house, a friend, etc., or plural, a few books, a lot of orange, etc., is a countable noun. The following countable no examples will help you to see the difference between countable and uncountable nouns. Notice that singular verbs are used with singular countable nouns, while plural verbs are used with plural countable nouns. Mm -hmm. mm. Examples. There are at least 20 Italian restaurants in Little Italy. 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 Mm -hmm. Second, Megan took a lot of photographs when she went to the Grand Canyon. Do you know where is Grand Canyon? Uh, yes, it's a place. This is it's a place in United States or when? It's a, like a hill. High, high hill. Yes, it's yeah, a hill. Big, big hill. Big hill. Mm. Okay. okay. Your book. Your book is on the chicken table. Not the chicken, it's kitchen. Kitchen, kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Monica, not chicken table. Kitchen table. <laughs> Don't be confused with kitchen and chicken. <laughs> yes, teacher, okay. Your book is on <laughs> the chick kitchen table. Chicken table? table. <laughs> not chicken table, no, no, okay. It's not possible. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> okay, how many candles are on that birthday cake. How many candles are on the birthday cake? Mm. 
How many candles are on the birthday cake? Very good. Look, speak sometimes in a stylish way and your you know, pronunciation would be ex excellent. No, oh, teacher. Like, okay. how many cakes on your birthday cake? Sorry, how many candles huh? on? How many candles how are many on candles? that birthday cake? Okay. The first is better. Uh, how many candles are on the birthday cake? Very good. High five. Bravo. Look, this is how, <laughs> you know, your practice takes your, you know, positive vibe, your confidence level that you can speak faster. You don't have to, but mm -hmm. when you speak faster, sometimes your sounds become better. Oh, teacher, yes, yes. Yes, I know, teacher. Maybe it's the process of learning. That's right. Number five. Let's move on. Num number five. You have several paintings to study in art appreciation class. Very good. Uh, there is a big brown dog running around the neighborhood. 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 You know the meaning of neighborhood, okay. right? The people who live beside their home houses. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Yes, I know. Okay, uncountable noun examples. Uncountable noun examples. Anything that can can't uh, be counted is an uncountable noun. Even though uncountable nouns are not individual objects, there are always single, singular and one must always use singular verbs in conjunction. 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 Yeah. It means in addition, in addition, it means in addition. Ah, okay, okay, in addition. Singular words in conjunction with uncountable nouns. The following uncountable noun examples will help you to gain even more understanding of how countable and uncountable nouns differ from all one, one another. Mm -hmm. uh, Nothing that singular verb are always used with uncountable nouns. Very good. Okay, teacher. Examples. There is no more water in the pond. Uh -huh. What means pond, teacher? We have got a few seconds. Just finish these four sentences quickly. Oh, teacher, okay. Please help yourself to some cheese. I need to find information about the Pulitzer Prize winners. You seem to have a high level of very good okay. well done monica <laughs> remember whatever you have learned today there are some words we have practiced and the word is irritate irritate irritation irritating irritably ir irritable blah 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 whatever <laughs> so <laughs> next time make some sentences okay practice Perfect okay thank, Perfect teacher. thank you so much teacher thank you so very much to you as well for coming here and joining me i'll see you later you take care and bye bye teacher thank you